investigation why victims of catalytic converter thefts could be feeling the impact years after the crime. And with those thefts really rampant in our state right now, lots of you already know it is a very expensive problem to fix. Our chief investigative reporter Matthew Campbell has more right now on why victims could have to pay again in this Channel 3 exclusive. Well, Mark and Aaron, if you fail an emissions test, you come here to the experts at Groton Tire and Auto, and they say they're seeing a spike in failed emissions, and they're making the connection to the spike in catalytic converter thefts. One cut here, one cut here, and it drops out. That's how easy it is for a catalytic converter to be stolen. Ryan McCarthy, manager at Groton Tire and Auto, tells us the fix is very expensive. Usually on like a cheaper, like a little Honda or something, you're probably looking at around 1500 and then you get up to a Prius with the bigger cats, usually around three to 3500 Since no one budgets for their converter to be stolen, drivers oftentimes attempt to save during the repairs, and that means installing an aftermarket converter. You're probably still looking at at least a thousand, depending on the car. So here's a catalytic converter. This one came with the SUV, and on the outside, you can't really tell the difference between a manufactured one and an aftermarket one. The difference, though, it's all on the inside. This is where all of the precious metals are, and it's those precious metals that help filter out all of the pollutants. Now, experts say manufactured ones, they're the best. The aftermarket ones, they have a much shorter lifespan. The aftermarket you get a couple years out of maybe. For many, the harsh reality that the replacement converter has gone bad hits when it comes time to get the car's emissions tested. Why will the car fail emissions? It's not filtering out the exhaust gases the way it should. In fact, compared to last year, McCarthy says they're seeing a 50% spike in drivers looking to get their cars in compliance after failing the emissions test. Probably about half the cars in here right now are in for emissions repairs. This parallels the uptick in thefts we've seen over the years. According to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, there were 3,400 thefts nationwide in 2019. In 2020, it jumped to 14,443. So many of them are getting stolen. If it happens to you, the advice is to bite the bullet and try to get an OEM, Original Equipment Manufacturer, part. But due to the surge in thefts, these parts are in high demand and you may need to wait and wait. I think one of them, it took us a month and a half to get one. Now, there are devices that can protect your catalytic converter. We're going to explore that next week. But in the meantime, the state also offers a grace period of 60 days after you fail emissions to get in compliance. We're here in Groton. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.